Hi, this is Tom Bancroft. I'm the writer and illustrator of the new book from Focal Press, Character Mentor. And I just wanted to throw out a, a suggestion and some tips. This is about uh, tools, um, and really for drawing and sketching tools. What I like to do is, because of my animation background, I'm trained to draw with either a light blue or red or some kind of a colored pencil for my underdrawing to find the sketch. And then when I find a pose or a expression or character that I like, um, I'll start really tying it down in graphite. So step one, the sketch, I like to use these light pencils. This is a light blue, sorry, there you go, light blue, and a red pencil. Both of these are made by Prismacolor, and they have a, a line of colored pencils called Col Color Erase, and it's C-O-L-E-R-A-S-E. -E. Um, I like the light blue and I like the crimson, but they have uh, erasers on the end, so these are erasable colored pencils. That's what makes them so nice. Um, then the next step after you've done your light drawing is then to grab a, a graphite pencil of some kind. And these, I like soft leads. Um, this is a 2B and it's just a tom, Tombow. Um, and then this is a Blackwing. Uh, it's a kind of a fancy uh, pencil. They're, they were used by animators in the 40s and they brought them back now. So you can look under um, Blackwing number 602 and 601. And those are great graphite pencils, very soft, all of them erasable. Um, but of course the graphites will stain the paper if you push too hard. So again, that's why I like to do the, the light blue or some kind of a color, uh, color pencil first. Another nice tip is, is that when you then do a drawing you like and it has either a red or a blue uh, underdrawing to it, um, you can scan it and then put, take it into Photoshop and in the channels uh, box select either blue or red depending on what color uh, pencil you've used and it'll knock out the blue or red and so now all you're left with is the graphite line which is hopefully your tighter cleaner line and so a lot of times what I'll do is drop out that that underdrawing uh, color underdrawing and now I'm left with a nice uh, black line and it's usually tighter so now I have a, a line that I can use and I can color it now and I'll have a nice color model that I can show a client